there's a good strong chance Bill may have sent me another box. Yes, viewer Bill has gone ahead, I can't thank this gentleman enough, has gone ahead and taken the liberty of sending me yet another box. This may very well be the fourth, potentially fifth box this kind souled gentleman has done and delivered to my door. I have yet to open this up and uh, I'm curious to see what we're going to have inside. Certainly he has outdone himself in the last several unboxings got a whole bunch of jurassic park jurassic world i should say uh toys and uh, we also got a whole bunch of batman missions figures as well let's see what is in store for this very humbled reviewer is let's go ahead and get out our knife op our knife opener our box opener i'm gonna grab old red here and we're gonna go ahead and get the box cut open now if you would like to send anything my way I'll put the link, I'll put actually my address down below. You can send me cards, best wishes. You could send me letters. You can send me drawings. I'd always like to see you guys do different drawings of my logo. I'd like to see what you guys do with that. Uh, anything you'd like to see uh, me review? Anything, anything at all. Feel free to send it my way. Uh, that is at the review spot, care of UPS. That is 6975 Meadowville Town Center Circle. Don't worry, I'll put that all down below. Suite 196, 196 Mississauga, Ontario, L5N2V7. And that is, yes, correct, Jeremiah. That is in Canada. That being said, let's go ahead and very gingerly, very carefully cut the tape on the side. I do recognize the address, which makes me believe that this is from Bill. If it isn't from Bill, you know what? I'm looking at it. Yeah, that's it's from Bill. Again, I, I certainly cannot thank this gentleman enough for taking the time sending stuff my way. It is very, very humbly appreciated. Believe you me, I'm not somebody that necessarily looks for anything to be sent my way. Oh, we got a little card. Oh, look at this one. It's Joker and it's also Freddy Krueger. Hold on one second. Hold on. Just to show you how sincere I am. I really do like his artwork so much so I'm still, I've got a whole bunch of it right here. Uh, the, uh, of course, the Freddy Krueger Raptor. There was the Jason Voorhees Batman logo. And now we've got the Joker as Freddy Krueger. Look how cool that is. This guy certainly does have a good bright future, I think, in the way of art. I wish I could draw like that. And inside we've got... Hey, Spot found another Batman, another batch of Batman goodness at Walmart. Enjoy. That's from Bill. Hey, thanks, Bill. I'm going to add that to my collection of photos, my little pictures, and I'm going to, I want to get myself like a nice bulletin board or something where I could put all that stuff up. So let's see what we got inside. We've got Batman. It doesn't actually say what his name is. It just says Air Power Batman. I guess you squeeze something on the side. It says squeeze and strike strike being that he shoots what looks to be a foam dart out this is also from the deluxe variety and there's the back of it let's see here you can share the gear not that he would share gear with the joker but apparently he can do that you know what's interesting here i'm just looking at something do my eye are my eyes playing tricks on me or do they look like they have ball jointed legs isn't that interesting? Look at that. I didn't realize that. <laughs> High voice. On the front, you can see there, I don't see a ball joint. I see hinge joints on their legs. But if you flip it around, are they not sharing both the Joker and Batman? Are they not sporting ball joints? You teases. Oh, Mattel. Mattel. I would love to have been able to do that with the figures, but clearly, as you can see, yeah, that's not ball joints, brothers. That is hinge joint. We're entering into hinge joint central. Ball joints. I love that there were ball joints, but no, it's not ball joints. Oh, look at this. We also got a Joker. I, I don't know where this guy's finding all this stuff, but I have yet to find any of the new Batman. I've seen, okay, that's not true. I went like grocery shopping last night. So I'm doing this on Saturday, last night, Friday. I went grocery shopping and I checked the toy section 
And I think for Batman Missions, they, they finally had Harley Quinn, which now is too late because I've already picked up a Harley Quinn. And then they had uh, the original Joker, the one that I looked at before. And then they had the original Batman that they had before, that I've done before. Nothing new. So I don't know how he's managing to find all this stuff, but fine work, Bill. Fine work. This is the Joker from True Moves. Is that the subcategory of the toy line? True Moves. And I guess this in this instance. Now look at this. 11 points of articulation. Could we not have afforded putting that into the smaller figures? Looks to me like, oh, maybe not. I don't know if that's supposed to mean that there's a ball joint. That could essentially still be a hinge joint. But it definitely looks like you could hinge Batman's or Joker's legs here. Looks like you could hinge them outward. So be curious to, don't worry, we're going to get around to reviewing all of these. Oh, and he got a vehicle. Gonna pull this one out. Ah, there we go, there we go, there we go. And he also sent me the Blast Attack Batman and Bite Bat Cycle, which is pretty cool because there's so very few Batman lines out there recently, of recent memory, where Batman's actually had vehicles that could support him. Usually he's always just relegated to running. I'm, gu I'm guessing he's a fast runner by this point, but give the guy a vehicle for heaven's sake. What's interesting, though, is he has this giant gun, and from what I'm gathering, it's supposed to plug only into the front here, as indicated by the photo down below. How would this not impair Batman's vision when driving? Unless the goggles, I don't know, is telling him where he needs to go, because that's blocking everything. It would also make his, his bat cycle very top-heavy, very front-heavy. There's the back there. Oh, look at the Batmobile. That's pretty cool. Again, not finding any of this stuff. Looks like you can also peg it onto the side, which logically may make a little bit more sense, but the bike probably will just tip over to the side. Pretty cool looking bike though, I have to admit. And again, it's under the quote, air power category, which I guess everything is, you know, it's not gonna make that noise. That's just me making that noise. And it's gonna fire missiles. It says, do not aim at eyes or face. Only use projectiles supplied with this toy. Do not fire at point blank range. Well, good, well point made there, packaging. Well, I'll have to make sure I don't point that at my face or any of my cat's faces. Look at all the goodies I got from my good friend, Bill, who also took the liberty of drawing a very nice photo of, well, it's not, I guess not a real photo, but it's Joker, an illustration, there you go, of Joker as uh, Freddy Krueger. Pretty cool. I like that. Awesome. I'll add that to my collection of pictures. If you'd like to add to your add to my collection of pictures and send me any letters, uh, photos, if you'd like to just send me a card. Just say, hey, how you doing? Send me uh, pictures of my logo. That I'd like to really see. Anything you want, you can send it to the address listed down below. Just like Bill has. Bill has gone above and beyond. I can't thank you enough, sir. Uh, today we were doing an unboxing at the viewer corner and uh, we were having a look at some more goodies that viewer Bill took the time and sent my way. Uh, certainly more videos, guys, will be coming your way. If you haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, what are you waiting for? A whole ton of goodies delivered to your door? Actually, that would be pretty good incentive. Uh, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. More videos coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.